A CDA document may be complex and longer than a given clinician may find useful. Instead of trying to constrain what the user may see in a document, the CDA viewer allows the user to control what they wish to view. When it first loads, the whole document uh, is displayed. The user can collapse the document to see, to view a section head summary. They can then browse through the document and see the things that they wish to see. The things that they might consider unimportant, they can remove. Things that they wish that they consider important, they can move to the top of the document. They can move other sections to the bottom of the document or anywhere else they may uh, wish to. They can do it by dragging uh, sections around or by using mouse clicks. Having created this tailored view of what they wish to see, they can open further documents and the preferences they've indicated are retained. If they wish, they can get an overview of any document that they've opened uh, and um, by looking through the table of contents. This also allows them to control what they see. They could decide they wish to see everything, uh, restore the original order and uh, rearrange things further if they wish, having uh, opened this new document. Um, some other things to note. You may have noticed um, that uh, the section layout is optimized to make use of the available screen real estate. This reduces the scrolling to one direction only. Uh, scrolling is also minimized because of this. Uh, the design is responsive to the screen size, uh, automatically adjusting font and so on. This makes it suitable for tablets and mobile devices. There are some other functions in the viewer and I'm happy to go over these with anyone who's interested in discussing it further. Thank you for your attention.